Let's talk about our WHL roundup uh, for current prospects in the pipeline. WHL three horse scoring race height on fire again, which Z you've already kind of alluded to with the challenges and highlight reel. Curious, is he AHL bound or too young? If he goes AHL, can he play for Canada Juniors next year? And, and can he play for Canada Juniors, period, because they're idiots and they won't bring him? Uh, I mean, like, technically, this is his fourth WHL season. So, I think. Again, there's so many weird stipulations to that CHL, <laughs> AHL, or NHL agreement. Um, I don't know if there actually is a minimum amount of games to constitute a full year. Because, I mean, the thing with Lambos a couple years ago, when I asked Chris Peters about this, because, like, there was the one year that he technically had four WHL games when the now Wenatchee wild <laughs> old – I'm not even gonna try to do it. When it was the coup, when it was the coup, there were the Kansas City Scouts at one point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that obviously didn't count because it was four games. Riley Height in 2020 2021 season was his first year at the WHL. He played 22 games, so I don't like. I feel like that's a little bit different. I I'll, I'll be honest. I don't really need him to go play in the AHL. After, like I, he probably is. Eh, well. You know what? He he actually could play for sure, but um, if the decision ends up like if you want to go play another year juniors, like they're going to be good again. They have so many young, fucking unbelievable players on that Prince George team, um, including one guy we'll talk about when we talk about our uh, WHL draft prospects. Um, but I don't know. I'm not like pressing for him to immediately get to Iowa yet. Like if they if he he's 18 years old. There's no real like pressing need to have him go play in Iowa, but he is legitimately like just torching the dub right now. Like, <laughs> and he's two points away from his uh, point total last year in 12 fewer games. So um, he's having an unbelievable year. But all that to say, like, I'm not really worried about him going and playing in WHL or the AHL next year. I think it's fine either way. Um, I am curious to know though, like, 22 games is at least somewhat substantial. So I feel like that would count because it's the four year or 20 years old, which is so weird. Like, it's so fucking weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> how'd they land? I wonder how they landed on that number. <laughs> ah, four. But you know, four the rule was made. There was a player that they were either trying to get out or keep in. And that's where all of this was built around. And they look back and they're like, fuck, was this worth it? Like, that guy, mm, I don't even know who that guy is. Hmm. Uh, Again, I, I've said it a million times. It's the dumbest fucking rule in the world. I fucking hate it, dude. I hate that. It makes no sense. It's so, oh, whatever. Because there are some kids that are just like, immediately they outgrow the what, any what, OHL, QMJHL, WHL, whatever. But like they like literally aren't allowed to go play in the A if the team's what, like whatever. I don't know. I Talk. They need to fix that. They and it's been brought up before, and the NHL the is like, "Nah, we're gonna keep it. We're in the sweet spot." I'm like, "No, you're in the fucking terrible spot. <laughs> everyone hates. Everyone hates this. Like, no one likes this at all, <laughs> other than like the people that make money and then the fucking CHL. But whatever, it is what it is. We can move on. We have to move on, or I'll cry. 